Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here. Now the 2020 presidential election is right around the corner. As Americans make their ways to the polling booths to cast their ballots, there's one thing that is on their mind and that is who am I voting for in 2020? One group of individuals that seems to be kind of on the fence and unsure who they should vote for are Christians. Now they hear that there's a practicing Catholic who's running for president who was the former VP, and they hear about a president who calls himself Christian, but they're wondering, who should they vote for? Who is going to have policies? Who's going to have rules? Who's going to have laws? They're going to align with their faith. Fortunately, the answer is very clear, and this is due to the fact that the two parties are divided on the topic of abortion. One party believes that abortion is a woman's right and that she should be able to have an abortion, where another party believes that every person deserves the right to life and abortion is murder. Clearly, as Christian and reading the Ten Commandments, we can see that abortion is murder and that we as Christians cannot advocate for murder. Not only is abortion such an important topic to talk about in the Christian community, but it's also an important topic to talk about outside of the Christian community. And the reason as to why is that a country that can't protect, can't defend, or will not defend the most innocent and the most vulnerable humans on the earth, who else are they going to defend and protect? In this video, we will be looking at the two presidential candidates for the election of 2020, which is Donald Trump and Joe Biden. In this video, we'll be looking at what they have done when it comes to abortion, what they plan to do when it comes to abortion, and what they've said about abortion. Fortunately for us, both of these men have held office, President Trump being the President of the United States and Joe Biden being Vice President for eight years. So not only are we going to be looking at their stances on abortion, but I decided I wanted a little spin on this video. We're going to be looking at what they said about abortion, what their plans for abortion, what they've done about abortion, but we're going to be looking at it without their names attached. We're just simply going to be laying down the facts and looking at what both men have done or what both men plan to do, and we're going to see which side we align on. So there's not going to be Donald Trump, there's not going to be Joe Biden names. Instead, we're going to be calling them candidate A and candidate B. We're just going to be looking at what they believe, what they teach, and what they plan to do, and we're going to see if it aligns with our our beliefs and aligns with what God would want us to vote for. I encourage you, as we read these statements, look at these statements for what they are. Don't try to attach a name to it. Don't say, oh, Trump definitely said this or Biden definitely said this. Just look at the statements for what they are. Don't add a name to them. And if it helps you, write down whether or not you agree or disagree with the statements I have on the screen. So when we come to the end of the video, you can see whether or not you agree with candidate A or candidate B. This is not about whether you're pro-Trump. This is not about whether you're pro-Biden. This is about whether or not you believe in the right to life or you believe in the right to murder your unborn child. And at the end of this video, I'll be revealing the names of who candidate A is and who candidate B is. To start us off, we are gonna be looking at what the candidates have done in regards to abortion. His administration has reinstated and expanded the Mexico City policy that prevents foreign aid of $9 billion from being used to fund abortions. And this goes to candidate A. His administration signed an executive order reversing the Mexico City policy. And this goes to candidate B. Defunded UN agency for colluding with China's program of forced abortion and sterilization. This goes to candidate A. Signed a bill that would overturn the previous administration's regulation that prohibited states from defunding abortion service providers. This goes to candidate A. The administration issued a rule to keep states from withholding funds from Planned Parenthood and other abortion clinics. This goes to candidate B. Signed a Congressional Review Act bill to allow for a state to restrict funding to Planned Parenthood. This goes to candidate A. Enacted the Protecting Life Global Health Assistance Policy, which prevents tax dollars from funding international abortions. This goes to candidate A. Unbatted efforts of the UN to make abortion an international right. This goes to candidate A. The administration finalized a rule that would ban states from withholding Title X federal family planning funds from abortion providers. 
this goes to candidate B. Through the Title X Protect Life rule is stopping taxpayer funding to the big abortion industry. This goes to candidate A. Fighting for rights of the little sisters of the poor and medical professionals from being forced to participate in abortions. This goes to candidate A. Now that we've seen what they've already done, let us see what they plan to do if they get elected. Plans to stop laws from violating Roe v. Wade. This goes to candidate B. Plans to continue filling the Supreme Court and lower courts with judges who follow and respect the Constitution and will not legislate an abortion agenda. This goes to candidate A. Plans to have the public option to cover contraception and fight for a woman's right to an abortion under Roe v. Wade. This goes to candidate B. Plans to repeal the Hyde Amendment, which bars the use of federal funds to pay for abortion. This goes to candidate B. Plans to pass and sign into law Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, and the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. This goes to candidate A. Plans to issue guidance that states cannot refuse Medicaid funding to Planned Parenthood and other providers. This goes to candidate B. Plans to restore federal funding to Planned Parenthood. This goes to candidate B. Plans to fully defund big abortion industry, such as Planned Parenthood of tax dollars. This goes to candidate A. Plans to reverse the prevention of abortion organizations from obtaining Title X funds. This goes to candidate B. Plans to reincend the Mexico City policy since it has been reinstated and expanded. By rescinding it, the U.S. federal government will be able to provide abortion services and information regarding abortions to other countries. This goes to candidate B. Now that we've seen what they've done, and seeing what they plan to do, let us see what they have to say about abortion. Now, some of these quotes come from debates, some of these quotes come from interviews. Let us see what they say to the American people when they're talking about abortion. Candidate A recognizes the precious gift of life and protects the sanctity of life at all stages. This goes to candidate A. I support a woman's right to choose. I support it's a constitutional right. I supported it, and I will continue to support it. And I will, in fact, move as president to see to it that the Congress legislates that, that is the laws as well. This goes to candidate B. Lawmakers in New York cheered with the life upon the passage of legislation that would allow a baby to be ripped from the mother's womb, moments from birth. These are living, feeling, beautiful babies who will never share their love and dreams with the world. And then we had the case of the governor of Virginia, where he stated he would execute a baby after birth. To defend the dignity of every person, I am asking Congress to pass legislation to prohibit the late-term abortion of children who can feel pain in a mother's womb. This goes to candidate A. I, I do not believe that, that we have a right to tell other people that women, they they can't control their body. It's a decision between them and their doctor, in my view, and the Supreme Court. I'm not going to interfere with that. This goes to candidate B. Number one, we don't know exactly what Barrett will do. Although the expectation is that she very well may overrule Roe, and the only responsible response to that would be to pass legislation to make Roe the law of the land. This goes to candidate B. Our goal should be to ensure that every baby has the best chance to survive and grow just like Ellie. That is why I'm asking Congress to provide an additional $50 million to fund neonatal research for America's youngest patients. That is why I'm also calling upon members of Congress here tonight to pass legislation finally banning the late-term abortion of babies. Whether we are Republican, Democrat, or Independent, surely we must all agree that every human life is sacred gift.
from God. This goes to candidate A. Reproductive rights are a constitutional right. And in fact, every woman should have that right. This goes to candidate B. So guys, we have looked at what candidate A and candidate B have done for the country, are going to do for the country, and what they've said about the topic of abortion. Which candidate do you find that you align with? Is it candidate A or is it candidate B? At the beginning of this video, I said that I was going to reveal to you guys at the end of the video who candidate A is and who candidate B is, but I've decided that I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'll have the answer down below in the description, but the reason why I'm not going to reveal it in the video is because I don't want this video to seem like it's a pro-Trump video or a pro-Joe Biden video. I want this video to be a pro-right to life video. I'm not trying to tell you how to vote or who to vote for, I'm just simply laying down the facts and allowing you to make your decision, whether or not you're going to vote for life or vote against it. So looking at these facts, I really want you to ask yourself, who are you going to stand with? Are you going to stand with the right to life? Or are you going to stand with the right to abortion? Or more importantly, who are you going to stand against? Are you going to stand against the pro-abortion side? Or are you going to stand against the pro-life side? Your vote is very, very important. If you're a Christian, whether you're Protestant or Catholic, Understand that in the Ten Commandments, we are taught that we shall not kill. And when we vote for abortion, and we're not voting against abortion, we're voting for the right to kill an unborn innocent child. And that is not what God would want us to do. So whether or not you like Trump, or you don't like Trump, whether or not you like Biden, you don't like Biden, vote for the right to life. We right now are given this opportunity to stand up for the most innocent and the most vulnerable. We survived. We're alive right now and we have the capability to vote for those who don't have a voice. Be the voice for those who can't speak for themselves. Give them the opportunity to one day speak for themselves. Vote for the right to life. So guys, I hope you learned something new from this video. Let me know if candidate A was who you thought it was and candidate B was who you thought it was. Let me know which side you align with or don't let me know, I don't care. Just don't tell me who you're gonna vote for, I don't, I don't wanna know. But let me know if you learned something new from this video. I also encourage you guys to check the description bar also because I have a blog post for this video where I have screen caps of this video in that blog post. So if you wanna show them to your friends, show them to your family, they're there. I also have my sources linked down below. Also, they're also linked in that blog post. So don't worry, I, this is not plagiarism at all. I said who I got it from. So check out that bar down below if you want more information on this topic. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. It lets me know if you guys like these type of videos. You can also comment down below and let me know if you like these type of videos. If you hate them, let me know. If you love them, let me know. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye.